This video series introduces you to some of the features in Optum Development Studio that you can use to develop an application that uses pure query annotated methods. In the first module of this video series, you learned how to add pure query to your Java project and generate code and SQL for a database table. Now let's move on to how you would work with and modify the application, working with the SQL, and to test it. You will also learn how to use one of the most powerful features of Optum Development Studio, the SQL Outline, to navigate between the Java source code and SQL. To run the generated pure query code against the database, you use the pure query runtime libraries which have separate requirements from that of the tooling. Because this tutorial has used the default values for creating the JRE for the purequery.jar files and is using the IBM data server driver for JDBC and SQLJ, it should meet all the requirements. However, this sample application can prove useful for those cases when defaults are not used. Locate the sampleutil.java file. Right-click the sampleutil.java file and select Run as Java Application. The console view opens with the output from the sample util application. To find out whether your system meets the software requirements for running the PureQuery runtime engine, scroll to the bottom of the output where you should see lines as shown here that indicate the prerequisites are satisfied. The SQL statements that PureQuery generates are all helpful, but you may also want statements that are tailored for the applications that you are planning to write. For example, assume you need a SELECT statement to determine how many units of a certain product were shipped during a certain month of a certain year. With Pure Query, it is easy to add the declaration of this new method to the interface and then regenerate the implementation class so that it implements the method. Go to the Inventory Levels Data.java tab. Below the second Get Inventory Levels method, add a few blank lines to the file and then type the lines as shown here including a comment, the select annotation, and the SQL attribute. In the SQL, you can leave blanks for the database objects at this point. This enables you to use the Content Assist feature to fill in those missing pieces. Don't worry about the error markers in the editor. They will go away when you are done declaring the method. To add the schema to the code, place the cursor just before the second quotation mark. Then, while holding the Control key, press the space bar in the small window, scroll down until you find the list of schemas in the GSDB database and double-click the Go Sales schema. Type a period after the schema and press Control Space again. Use the down arrow key to move down to the Inventory Levels table and press Enter. You can complete the SQL statement by adding the column you need, the Quantity Shipped column. Press Control Space in the correct location and press Enter to select the column. Finally, copy the WHERE clause from the previous SELECT statement in the interface so that it includes the four primary key columns. Format the SQL statement so that it fits the screen. Place your cursor in the statement, then right-click and select Pure Query Format SQL. Notice that the SQL statement is now neatly formatted on multiple rows. Now add a line and write the method so that it returns an integer with the value of quantity shipped and takes individual fields as parameters as shown here. PureQuery lets you test your SQL statement from the Java editor. Place the cursor in the statement, then right-click the statement and select PureQuery Run SQL. Because the statement uses parameter markers in the WHERE clause, you need to tell Pure Query which values to use. In the SQL results view, you can see that you ran without error. Click on the status row and then select the Result 1 tab to see the result. Be sure to save the interface. When you save the interface, Pure Query automatically regenerates the implementation file to include the new method. In this section, let's see how you can use the generated test classes to test your SQL. Open the test class file. Create a line, and then add a simple method that sets the parameters. Then save the file. 
Now in the Package Explorer, right-click the file and select Run As Run Configuration. In the Run Configurations window, double-click Java Application. A new run configuration named Inventory Levels Data Test opens. This run configuration will run the Inventory Levels Data Test class. On the Arguments page of the Run Configurations window, type the connection URL, user ID, and password for the connection to the database. Click Apply and then click Run. The results appear in the console view for all of the SQL statements that Inventory Levels Data Test runs. The result for the get quantity shipped method is highlighted here. Now let's learn how to use the SQL outline view to find, test, and tune the SQL statements that are in your pure query test project. Normally when you work with SQL statements you need to scroll through files to find them. When you scroll through a long interface you can easily become lost. Using the SQL outline view can simplify the multiple SQL statements in your files. The SQL Outline View database page shows the schemas that you are working with. In this case, it shows Go Sales because Go Sales contains the inventory levels table. Expand the schema to see the inventory levels table and then expand that table. The view lists all of the SQL statements in the interfaces in your Java project that reference that table, grouped under the schemas and database objects. Expand the first statement in the list. You see the name of your Java project and the name of the columns that the statement references. If you expand the Pure Query Test Project name, you see the package, interface, and name of the method that is annotated with this statement. You also see the line number at which the method is located in the interface. Click on the Java tab at the bottom of the view. This view has a Java-centric hierarchical view, starting from the Java project through the package, interface, and method, and finally to the database objects. Right-click the statement on any page in the SQL Outline view and select Find in Source. The correct file opens for editing and Pure Query places a cursor on the line that contains the SELECT statement. Now let's learn how to filter statements in the SQL Outline. For this tutorial, it's probably not necessary, but if you have many interfaces and a large number of other Java files in your project, you might want to keep a good number of the Java files open for editing at the same time. In cases like this, the filter option is useful. Right-click anywhere in the SQL Outline view and select Filter. To see only the select statements that reference the Inventory Levels table, specify GoSales.InventoryLevels in the Database Object Name field and select the checkbox for Select Statements. Although your user ID is the default schema for your Java project, the SQL Outline view shows SQL statements in all open Java projects that the Package Explorer lists. When you click OK, the SQL Outline view shows only select statements, and you can see an indication that the outline is filtered. Explore the other options in the SQL Outline view by right-clicking on an SQL statement in the outline. You can see the options to run the SQL, open it for editing, and exporting it to a file. You can retrieve explain data or open visual explain for a statement which gives you important information about the access path used by the DB2 optimizer. If you have Optum Query Tuner, you can generate a report that provides query tuning recommendations and launch the product from here as well. In the next module, you'll learn about using the outline view to visualize SQL performance and you'll also learn how to bind static packages. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on developing a Java application that uses pure query annotated methods. Try it yourself by downloading Optum Development Studio today. Other resources to help you learn are listed here as well.